Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're really glad to see you here on our channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about switching our truck to LEDs. This is a upgrade that we did this year, we decided to do. Um, if you travel down the roads, you are not stranger to LED lights. Most modern vehicles will come with them. I say most, um, the, the upper levels of cars will come with them nowadays. Um, obviously, they're a lot brighter. Um, now technology for LED bulbs for older vehicles has improved quite a bit. So after doing some research on YouTube and looking all around, we decided to go with the Trueland brand um, and we decided to go ahead and upgrade our truck. Now Lana's car has them, so we already know what the difference could be. Um, she has a, it's only a couple year old now, Hyundai Palisade as her personal car. Um, and the LED lights on it are fantastic. We'll go into the pros and cons, but I know what all of you came to see, and that is how to install the LED bulbs on your truck. So let me show you. So here we are, we are out here in front of our tow truck, our beloved F-250. It's a 2015 model um, named Silver Fox, as you can see with the silver color. This is our tow rig, we love it. However, the headlights could use some upgrading uh, to make them a little bit brighter, a little bit better. But uh, without further ado, let's get started updating our tow rig. All right, first thing we're gonna do is walk around and open the hood, obviously. Now with these Super Duties, well, I know if you change out the lens, you actually have to take off the front grill here, which sounds like a big task, but really it's not that big of a deal. In order to complete the change, you're going to need a 10 millimeter socket you can see, I have put one here on my impact drill to make things easier. You will also need a flathead screwdriver so you can peel up some of the plastic um, bolt kind of things that manufacturers use nowadays instead of bolts. All right, first step here is we're gonna be removing these 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter bolts. One here, one there, one there, and one over here. There's four of them um, and they're 10 millimeter. So let's go ahead and start taking those off. Don't lose these. Since I have a ranch hand, I'm gonna put them on the ranch hand so they don't go anywhere. You definitely don't wanna lose those. So now with those bolts out of place, you should be able to slide the grill forward. Yep. And then this is where you're gonna need that long flathead screwdriver because up in the grill, there's at the bottom, there's these plastic clips that you have to reach in. You wanna be careful, you don't wanna you don't want to break these as I almost fall. There's one, two, three, five. There you go. Pretty much undone. All right, now that the grill's out of the way, you can kind of see where those metal tabs went into now. So you can see right there, focuses. There you go. Um, you got one right there, one there, one there, and one there. That's what you're trying to get to. And you can kind of see on the grill side, that's what the little tabs look like that you're trying to find from the top. All right, next on the truck, you'll see there are four bolts, one here, two in there, and then there's actually a hidden one underneath down there, which will be interesting to see if I can get to it with this ranch hand. So I was able to get to it from underneath actually, instead of through the top. So there we go, just pulls out. So I'm not actually replacing the whole unit. I'm really just putting a new LED bolt in. So all I gotta do is pull it out this far and insert the new bulb, which I'll show you here in a second. But if you were to change the whole headlight, all you got to do is undo the clips, take it out and put the new one in. So here are the headlights that I got. It's from a company called Trueland. Uh, I found these on Amazon. They have really good reviews on the forums. If you have a truck like this or RV, I definitely recommend going on the forums. Uh, but here they are. So it gives you the, the bulbs, 
the connections and they give you a couple of zip ties, I assuming for the extra cord that you're gonna have going to and switching to these LED bulbs. The one we're after is actually the bottom one. So we'll undo that connector. Mine are looking a little crusty. So you can see this is a little tab here. I'm going to push down the tab and pull out. Just like that. So here we go. Pulled out the tab. So this should just twist out. There you go. Here is the stock style bulb. This one's a Sylvania. So it looks like a pretty decent halogen actually. So the new ones have these ears on them, you see, that you twist into place. So you insert the bulb and then you twist the ears in and that's what locks it in. These units actually have like a little fan. They actually have a little fan in there, I don't know if you can see that. And then this, this little box here is what controls the LED and kind of helps it not to flicker and all that. And then the end is just like the stock plug. So it, it's really just inserting the same way the old one came out. So I actually took it out for you guys. Um, this is the back of the headlight and this is the new one installed. There actually is a tab um, on the new bulb and on the old one as well, but slightly longer than the two tabs. There's actually three tabs triangulated onto this bulb. One of them is slightly longer and it has to go that way into the housing of the headlight for it to work properly. Um, otherwise it won't fit. And now it's just a matter of reversing the process, putting the four bolts back in and tightening the headlight back down. All right, so here is the old bulb. Let's go over and see what the new one looks like, the LED. Woo, kind of white with a hint of blue, which I guess is pretty typical for LED light. I really need to clean the lenses up, but let's back up and see what we got here. Old on the left and new on the right. All right, so pretty much identical process for the other headlight, so I won't show you that. I'm just gonna do it real quick and then we'll put the grill back on. And then tonight we'll test to see what it looks like. All right, so what do I think of the LED bulb upgrade? Well, I don't know. We're gonna have to drive at night and see how well it lights up the road. Um, we got some video footage and some pictures of nighttime with the old bulbs. So we'll see how these do and see if it's kind of blinding like most LED lights are because that's what we're most worried about. We're not trying to be douchebags on the road to other drivers. So only time will tell because we have to wait till tonight when it gets dark. So as you can see, it is not hard to do. Uh, it was very easy. They've come a long ways, like I said earlier, with modern LED bulbs retrofitting into older vehicles like this one. Um, I wouldn't consider this vehicle very old. It's only in 2015, but hey, that was eight years ago. Um, and as you can see, they look a lot different. Um, there's a lot of tall tail signs that this is an LED bulb just by the tint of the color on it and all that. Um, halogen bulbs aren't terrible if you get a good brand, um, but LED bulbs just make them look dim once you put the LED bulbs on there. But why would you make the switch to LED bulbs? Well, let's get the obvious out of the way and they're just much brighter. Um, from the driver perspective, it's much safer because you can just see a whole lot more, not only down the road, but the width of it, if you get a good brand of LED bulb. Um, they supposedly last a lot longer, um, only time will tell. Um, they keep cool, so you don't have, you generally don't have fogging and that kind of stuff on your lens uh, in, the, in the summer months uh, because they don't generate that heat. If you're still using like OEM type um, headlights like good brand headlights. I'm not talking about the cheap brand headlights because they don't seal very well But if you are using like OEM or a good brand of headlight, it reduces that fogging for you And they're just cheap nowadays um, This brand by Trueland uh, was 50 bucks on Amazon got it in two days um, And the install as you saw if I wasn't filming and just doing the install might have taken 15 minutes um, Even taking the grill and all that kind of stuff off just was not not very hard to do. And with the ease of installation, direct replacement, it just seems to make sense. Now, why would you not do these LED bulbs? Well, for one, they are bright. So the pro of these bulbs um, is also a con, not for you, but for people coming the opposite direction. Now, one of the reasons why I chose Trueland 
is based on the reviews. The beam is very similar to the OEM. Yes, it is brighter, but the horizon line that your light creates um, is about the same as your OEM. So uh, since I've installed these, I have not had anyone flash their lights on me telling me that they're blinding them. Um, this truck sits a little higher because it is a truck, it is an F-250. So not even the little small cars have flashed me yet. One of the other cons, um, Lan and I really don't have to deal with this too much because we do live in Southeast Texas. Um, but if you live in colder climates where you tend to have ice, um, once again, one of the pros turns out to be a con. So the heat from halogen lamps actually helps keep ice off of the lens of your headlight, thus being brighter. Um, if you have these LED lights, they're just, they don't run hot at all. Um, one, because of the technology, but two, because they have fans built into them. Um, so they're not gonna melt any kind of ice. Um, once again, not really a concern for Lana and I, but if you live in a colder climate, it's something to consider. Another con, if you have headlights like these, is pissing off other drivers. Um, it gets kind of old flashing your lights at people. Um, like I mentioned, this truck, I have not had anyone do that to me, but Lana's car, her Palisade, the way it sits, it almost sits level, if not butt in down, um, pointing towards the sky a little bit. I'm sure we could adjust that, but just the way it sits, it's very blinding for oncoming drivers. Another con to getting LED bulbs is that if you don't choose a good brand, yes, they might be brighter, but you're not gonna see near as much down the road. Um, I used to have a little Ford Focus and I upgraded it to LED lights. Um, the lights ended up being complete crap. Um, so they were brighter, but I actually saw less on the road because the beam and everything was more dissipated. Um, with these bulbs, um, they are a little higher quality. They shine down the road a lot better, so it is better than an OEM. But keep that in mind, look at reviews, and make sure that the bulbs you're getting are of high quality. Everybody watches YouTube now. I'm sure there's a review somewhere of the bulbs that you're looking at on Amazon. Um, like I told you, True Land, they're not sponsoring this video, but they've worked well for us, so maybe it'll work well for you. But just buyer beware, there's a lot of cheap bulbs out there that are just complete crap. Um, and you'll be attracted to them by their pictures and that they're, they're fake pictures of shining brighter down the road. But in reality, they're just complete junk. So buyer beware. Well guys, what do you think of LED bulbs? Is it a good improvement? Is it a con? Do you hate them? Do you love them? We would love to know in the comments below. Make sure to follow us on all the social medias. We're all on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, etc., even Twitter. Um, and make sure to follow this channel. We're a small channel. We're struggling to succeed on YouTube. We've been at it for a few years now, and we try to put out videos every week, if not every other week. And we would love to see you on the next one. So, bye guys.